Okay, alcohol and inks. We love them, love the colors, love the blends. However, we do have a sore spot and a lot of alcohol inks aren't light fast. So, time to experiment and see what we can do to help protect these things. Because, you know, creating art, making beautiful pieces, we'll make sure it lasts. Stay tuned. Howdy, howdy, everyone. So, I'm gonna do a test. I don't normally do tests. Pardon my hands. I need to get my nails done with my mama. Anyway, I'm gonna do a test on alcohol ink. And I've heard a lot about alcohol ink not being light fast. In other words, it fades in light rather quickly. So I thought I would do a test and do some alcohol ink straight with no UV protection whatsoever. This one here with UV protection spray, this guy here in a matte so finish. And then this one here will have this spray, but it'll also have some UV resin on top of it. So that's the thing. And then I'm gonna go put this out in a week, check it out, and then check it out in two weeks and see what happens with this. This ought to be a really interesting. And since I have a print-based background, in other words, I used to do advertising and illustration, and CMYK, or in other words, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. Um, when you put those colors out in the sun, some of them will fade faster than others. And so I thought I would start off with the basis, basics of those premise or those colors, basically. So um, Pinata has a very distinctive uh, blue, yellow, and magenta that's very close to like CMYK or CMY. But I picked out, what, and this is just what I had on hand. So I picked out kind of an equivalent in Ranger on that. So I'm going to try uh, a band of Pinata, a band of Ranger, and a band of Copic. Now my Copic one isn't as close because the yellow isn't as intense. But the, the blue and the uh, magenta are pretty pretty bright. So we're going to get this board set up and get it outside and maybe answer some questions. So I'm going to get busy setting up the board here. Got to put down some ink first. So I'm not too worried about design. I'm just worried about putting some color down and go from there. So I'm going to do a couple drips of each color if they happen to blend next to to the color next to them that's fine and at the end of the video I'll put the colors I use also I'll put a photo down there But I keep on hearing this debate, you know, when I post things on different groups and forums and stuff like that, that um, about light fastness. <laughs> this blue's wanting to run. Don't go there. I don't think my board's level. Oh dear.
right, I'm gonna work in this zone here, give this stuff a chance to dry a little bit. Where is my little bitty alcohol? I don't see it. Okay, very carefully. A little less alcohol. Pinyons to the side. Now we're going to work with some Copic. I might do a couple of the yellow. It's more like a butterscotch color. So I do not know how it's going to work out. We will see. Now remember, I just pulled these from what I had on hand. I didn't go buy colors to match, but I wanted to kind of get the same color range. So what we're looking for is light fastness. In other words, does the color burn out and disappear and fade? That's what I was looking for, something a little bit more precise. Okay. All right, and then this is a Ranger, or Tim Holtz. Well, that's kind of like a butterscotch too. That looks a little bit too green. All right, I swapped that one color out and we got stream now. So we'll try that one. I'm trying to get a color similar to cyan. Doesn't have to be right on target. It just has to be similar. Magenta has wandered.
Okay, I just want there to be enough yellow, like on each one, and enough pink on each one, just to be able to see whether or not the sun has an effect with a different protection. So that is the goal. Looks like a mess. I probably should have taped it off and that might have been a little bit better as far as keeping them confined. But um, I think we're good. And it also shows the blends and stuff and how it'll react with the blends. So anyway, uh, next step is I'm gonna put a piece of paper over this, spray this whole thing with a Krylon and then try and get the resin on just this area here and then put it out in the sun. So the next time you'll see me will be after it's been out in the sun for a week and then after it's been out in the sun for two weeks. So one week and two weeks. We should be able to know some, because I am in Texas, the sun's pretty brutal lately. So it should be a good test, good timing. All right, until then, later. Okay. So, I've got all my preparations done for the final test. This has just alcohol ink only. This is a, has alcohol ink and a UV uh, archival spray from Krylon. I got the matte finish on that. And this area here has that same spray, this spray here, as well as some UV protection from uh, resin. This is Stone Coat Art Coat, which I use on all my art pieces. So we're going to find out if alcohol ink can be, I guess for lack of a better word, protected um, from sun exposure, like, uh, like your pieces hanging next to a window or things like that, and see how quickly or not quickly that this um, medium will fade in the sun. So we do have some nice light blends some nice saturated colors all over. So this ought to be a really good test of the different inks. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, but more importantly, hit that bell for notification because I'll put another video up um, to give you an update of this test. So, oh, and also I'm gonna take some uh, still shots of it uh, like every two weeks to find out if we can see the progression of it. I, I'm thinking, I should leave it out in the sun for like a month. I don't know. Leave comments below and let me know how um, how long do you think I should leave this out in the sun to do a good test. Now this is Texas sun, so we could have sun going on for you know all throughout fall and stuff. So yes, I will be sticking it in a plastic bag, so not to worry because we do get rain. All right, so later, guys.